Next time you hear more Memexa, you should be thinking about us. All right, we're here with the National Youth Council talking emancipation, not the long, heavy, drawn out emancipation word and blah 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 blah. We want you to understand what it means to you, young people, what it meant to the older community and what it could mean to the future generation. So now we're on technology. Um, a while ago we talked about pop culture and they tie into each other yeah. because young people are based on a phone. You on your device yeah. every day, social media is everywhere and um, especially as the celebrations happened, I must say, if we're talking honestly and plainly, y'all, before this year, this year I think was the grandest display of emancipation yeah, um, celebrations yes, that yes, we've seen. True. But years before, I click the TV, I see something on a certain channel, I say, and then I switch, you understand? <laughs> because that has nothing to do with me. I say, Precise just so, I say, my great, 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 great grand go through the slavery already. It's me that I have to go through it again this year. And that's like, why should you get yeah. into, when it comes to pop culture, I mean, it's how you package something for exactly. people. Exactly. We're already realizing that young people are just into pop culture. We're all over social media, TikTok, and all of that. Just utilize those platforms. You but that's know? why I was saying, why are we compromising? Why it have to be meeting in the middle? Don't meet in no middle. Right. You know that young people already on social media. Why does it have to be, oh, we'll do some on social media? That's where we are. We're not, we're not I, about I would to say leave that it. Was, I would say that was the issue before. Yeah. We saw um, a lot of information not being passed down because people felt like they had to stick to the traditional way. This yes. stuff, I was taught it, so I'll teach it to you in that manner. However, we were not really utilizing what, what the young people were into. Thank you. So if we realize young people are into social media, let's get them there. I could draw um, an example. Jason Joseph Bachelor. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Know him as that. He does a lot of um, social media work in his teachings of the Creole language. That is amazing. Let us support something like that even more and make it even fresher to get to the, the Gen Z's. Why isn't it there a younger face doing that? All the Well, people. there is a younger face. Oh. There's um, two Enlighten saints, me. Um, a pair of sisters. Um, okay, so I forgot their name, but they're from Miku, I believe. Um, they're actually doing a project together with uh, T Cuisines to help the community. There we go. But one of the best well. things for me, and Joshua, you mentioned the Creole language earlier, mm -hmm. is that Quayle Dictionary. Like oh, to me, that's yes, what we've yes, been needing yes, for a long yes, time. But, uh, how many young people know that? Re no, right? people you don't, not. You don't need to go to. I mean, it's nice if you're on the traditional field, you go to the library or whatever, you get it. The who, goes to to the, who goes to the library? Do you go to one? Okay, okay, I'm not going library. to lie. Let's stop disrespecting Monday. Okay, if, don't come there. Do you go to one? Don't come and tell me about the library. It's not the library. I think that's the problem. But I passed it for one time. The idea of having to sell emancipation or having to market it to people, young people. I think we need to get past that as well. Like we are emancipated Why? and we're also living through that. Mm -hmm. Let's use these opportunities just to push more development in our own industries. <laughs> Let's let that be a flag map or, or rather the, the headline of what we're doing. Rather than to keep it about a remembrance, yeah. let's bask in what we can do and what we are doing. Let's push the boundaries yeah. on the sake of emancipation rather than saying, come with us, let's remember Creole. <laughs> let's remember what even if you're doing that and you relate that you relate the parts that can strengthen the people now. I think that's what people embrace the most. So let us, can, let us give it a, a message that adds fire to us. That yeah. makes yeah. us as young people want to say like, yeah, we yeah. emancipated in truth. We don't really need to bask in what we already have as much as what we can do with this so-called freedom. Let's take up this space and let's do more in the space. Now, um, I like that you brought that up because that's a, a, a problem that I, I kind of have. We kind of mistake our history our culture as black people as being slavery mm -hmm. where i mean we need to raise a consciousness of it because especially st lucia as a young society we need to understand where we just recently came from but at the same time um we need to understand that we could create culture because it's an ever-evolving thing it's not just stagnant in the stage of you had um, chains and shackles and you were beaten and this that and the other so we could um market it and and actually that's the part of um you know pop culture really drags people in the content creators 
So it's how culture creates among us. I was, I was thinking society. that too because if you look at, I know, well, so far we only hit on the point that, you know, it has not been brought to technology, our social media will enough. Right. But if you look at what we actually do, a lot of the trending TikToks, y'all, yes. are those that give you the history lessons. You're like, yeah. hey, hey, for true that right. happened? Because yeah. you never knew that was going on. Like, um, did you know all of these yeah. different little TikToks? Yeah. You by, understand? Uh, yeah. Yes. Now the other thing too, look, I forget what I was coming to say. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> yes. No, but, but realistically, yeah. Yeah, yeah just not. It's in the industry. All right, in light of emancipation, let's create a project. Let's fund a project as a government. Let's put some money aside and let's take a venture on behalf of emancipation. Why not do that instead? Because then we we add into our infrastructure, we're showing young people, there's a possibility. Let's take you into a field. Let's do it for fun on, on behalf of emancipation. Not for said, fun, oh, not take me into what, a field for fun. Are you saying it's in that sense like, but you... you a field feel? you allowing someone or somebody who is prepared to explore a project. Uh -huh. you, you basically can launch a project or you can do something in light of emancipation. That could be just on the basis that now we overturn it into the technological sphere. Let's take mm -hmm. up some presence. Let's do something in light of that. I'm just saying that let it be somewhat of an inspiration and impetus to do something. Yeah. I concur with what Edison coming. says, but the fact that you say government, we know nothing in St. Lucia ever happens on time. Nothing in St. Lucia ever produces on time. Well, I, I would know. never really rely on the government to, 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 to really have to, to really and have, have an expert. Yeah. You have to rely on yourself, man. Eh? All right, even if you're an entrepreneur, doesn't matter. There's an infrastructure already in place. There are loans being taken every month to pay every government worker's salary. I'm just saying the basic infrastructure is your governmental structure. Yeah, private sector, but who, does the private sector care enough to check on your own and cultural? Just that, but uh, we uh, barely uh, even have a private sector it's dominated uh, by, um, uh, by tourism. Uh, but I'm just saying, so. We'll like get there, we'll get there, we'll get there. I feel like government, we'll like government is We'll a, get a, to a, government, just now. Like not um, not um, even um, that, but it goes Joshua. to social, it goes to social media. All right. No, but I'm saying like it relates to social media. Check. In terms of the um technology and doing things that are trending. One example I can give you also, every um, Good Friday, I watch The Passion of Christ, all right? And every time I see Jesus kneel on the cross, mm -hmm. y'all, I just say, I just promise Jesus I never seen him again, right? And That's what tomorrow's a different story. story. Because, I watch, <laughs> and tomorrow's a different because story. I watch it and I feel it, you know what I'm saying? I just cry for Jesus. I said, no, don't do him that, you understand? Know <laughs> I eat it. So I'm making the promise one time. But you all know what has happened the next day. Sin. You understand? Know a little sin, not a, a big sin. Uh, but, but it's still a sin. It's still a sin. Don't say no little sin. Even though it's still a little sin. Sin. So after, so that's just a really good example that some, if you focus on something only happening one day, mm -hmm. you you make a decision about it for one day, it dies out, and then you go back to your regular right. habits. My true. thing with emancipation celebration is why only keep it to a small period? Because yeah, we teach you about things, we teach you about that. When is the only time you hear about these things? When is the time you hear about liberating stories? I, I feel like this one is like a, a calendar of events. And I was exactly. so happy to see that. I was like, okay, it's not just August first, and then we come. Yes. And, we do some yeah. by and then we back to the same thing. We, but that goes also thing, with too? the continuation of government. We have a YouTube page, we have a social media presence, but it is not really. You know, it doesn't really have any traction. Concerned, you understand? There's always going to be money allocated to these things. Exactly. Always, always, I mean, always. Every year, there, there will be some sort of allocation towards a uh, national celebration. And so here is Edison, because I want you to tie it into what you're about to say. Yeah. Um, because you're talking about governmental support um, and tapping into that for sure. Um, do you think everybody gets to benefit from these opportunities or do you see some kind of privilege in the way that um people certain people get to access these opportunities because hmm. okay, well, it's good to suggest it but who benefits from it who you know. okay. exactly if, if the goal is an overall community benefit and like i said there's always going to be resources whatever you want to call it resources allocated to celebration. We're celebrating things, yeah, yeah, just to remember it in all honesty, but every year is a celebration. 
However, just to pull into something that could be action oriented, that maybe a community could benefit from. Maybe you could look at ways to tie more and more people as you increase the stakes, mm -hmm. you increase the benefit, the effort is increased, and overall you create something that could lead towards whether it's a technological step you're trying to make that you see there's an, a space for. But there's always something to be done in the same industries we're discussing. Mm -hmm. However, I don't think that the, all the effort should really be put on the straight up remembrance, let's go back into it, let's open up this box. However, all of the advancements are beautiful. I think Creole should be taught just the same. Mm -hmm. I, I for one wasn't taught by my mom. That's right, freedom. Turn the sign say yeah, yeah, yeah. that's enough of that well, they're restricting me. Yeah. Restricting me, you understand? That's right, let me go, let my people my go. But you get it out of the community, you inflate these things, you do these things as we go along. But for the celebrations, let's make it exciting. Because there's a reason why young people are not really looking for artists. Like, what's really going to happen at that point? Like, how are they going, how are they going to tie in? How are they going to come, become and relate and step into a space? Now, when you want to create experiences of grandeur of, that can bring that stuff about, you're going to want to stimulate a benefit. And that's what I'm saying. Let's launch these projects. Let's create a cultural amusement park. Let's do something that, like wow. that. Let's do something a cool. Because at the end of the day, nobody cares for the same old, same old, same old. As much as we do appreciate the billboards, even though we can't have bronze. But, but not people, we I'm cannot sure have bronze. A celebration or whatever. <laughs> 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 I just got I'm not, just saying whatever we do for not the Saturday, power. We put at least an equal effort into creating a space that's cool, that people can now step into and that can be a platform where you can open up something. Oh. I mean, I love all of that, but when we always try to get people to fall back on government, 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 we, we've seen, because you know the topic is, we were on social media and you know, pop culture mm -hmm. and all those things. Nobody is, t none of these influencers are really going to the government and say, hey, help me out with this, I'm trying to make a little TikTok. Yeah. These people are <laughs> taking their own, they, they are taking it up for themselves to say, okay, this is what I'm passionate about. I'm heading on social media and I'm doing this because I want to educate the masses. I want to create a fun experience virtually. I want to do this, I want to do that. I feel like we can also look at some things as simple as that as highly impactful. You know, they can, they, they can pretty much achieve the same thing. Um, I mean, time after time we see that many young people come, come up with proposals and so on, we send it out. I mean, Let's, let's really not always go around the conversation of waiting for the government, the government. What are you doing as a young person to celebrate emancipation? What are you doing to, um, to, to teach, you know? Uh, what are you doing to ensure that we're moving forward? The, the same things that you were not taught, that you maybe had to teach yourself. What are you doing to pass that information down? Okay. You know, if we keep... I, I agree with most of what yeah, you I think saying, that's, I think that's stimulating a lot of action there, though. Because now you're calling on people who, who themselves feel like they're liberated or they're in those spaces to mm -hmm. do more, to share more, which is still good. Mm -hmm. It's still good. Mm -hmm. As opposed to just saying, let's talk about this and this card. Let's talk about... As much well, as we love system. that, but I don't really want to sit down and, and recollect with you as much as I might want to share and use that as a conduit to do more. And I think that's what we think. I think now I think the packaging of it. You know, it's not what definitely you do the now. packaging. You understand? I feel like it's the first year that we've gone from talking to doing. Yeah. That we've had from one day to an entire calendar yeah. of events. Yeah. That this we, we're actually here sitting here having Not this time. discussion yeah, so, yeah. where yeah. it's already hard enough to get young people interested in a discussion like this. So this is a, a major strive forward. Yeah. Though it is a little step, it is something that has never been tried before. And it's pretty meaningful to me. You understand? I also think that um, right now, like you're saying, Edison, um, emancipation needs to be on us, mm -hmm. on young oh, people. Yes. It cannot just be because you you see how things have changed over the years. So before it would usually it it was probably um, your great grandmother sitting outside another moonlight because you didn't have lights, you know, mm -hmm. sitting under the moonlight giving you a story about um, the gages and the larger bless or what their great grands had to go through, and they were giving you the story in that way. Nobody's sitting outside right now to listen to these stories. No, we haven't. However, stories. you know what? You, you, <laughs> <laughs> but, but we could always bring these stories to know, um, 
tool the technology exactly in our own so bring way. it there yeah, exactly. in our own creative way who documentaries remember the, which in the generation watch documentaries no, a lot again, of people it's not okay. what you do but how you do it when i say documentary exactly. i'm, I'm not talking about uh, this thing i'm no yeah and make it saucy Document. make it controversial yeah. because okay. okay people spend hours watching serial killer documentaries yeah, I'm because sure this people, thing's interesting i'm not judging are you judging i'm not judging in myself that's why i'm saying it are you Serial Just back on topic. I mean, okay. <laughs> <laughs> we show we for an <laughs> Like my friend Francis will be tuning into Priscilla Ash Live with the Naya Bingi um, celebrations mm -hmm. in 21 mm -hmm. days of Naya Bingi. Now who's Priscilla Ash, right? And to go eh? Yeah, but basically it's just oh. an entrepreneur. Yeah, it's an entrepreneur in the space who's decided <laughs> based on their <laughs> cultural upbringing that they're gonna facilitate. Is, but is he waiting for government? No, no he's, he's not. He's doing his thing. He's Chris down. He has there chronics on board. He is in he is in collaboration with the government on certain degrees, mm -hmm. but here you have a cultural eminence. Mm -hmm. We got twenty one days that wasn't last year. Yeah. But it's happening this year. So we mm -hmm. see how it happens and we see it in real time. Mm -hmm. When we come back, I want us to talk colorism. Ooh. Mm -hmm. I want to talk privilege. You know, mm. um, because <laughs> mm. these are very important topics, and that's things we all know about, and that's the conversations you have, Shri Shri, with your friends in private, and y'all never want to say it on the platforms, but y'all know it's where Melek Sao is saying it. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in to YMMXR. Of course, you can catch the next episode on Sunday, September 4th, on the CDF Facebook page. YMMXR was brought to you by the St. Lucia National Youth Council in collaboration with the Cultural Development Foundation.